Okay, so my first question is, what the fuck, man? What, what is this? This is Dive Kick. It's a two-button fighting game. And when I say two buttons, I mean two buttons. No joystick involved at all. You got your dive button and your kick button. Dive nonsensically makes you leap into the air. Yeah. Kick makes you soar towards the ground foot first. Yeah. One hit kills. Okay, so what was the inspiration from this? What, you know, where were you meditating? What was going on when you were like, ah, dive kick, that's what I'm going to do? Dive kicks are kind of stupid in yeah. fighting games. They have been for 20 years. People, de developers just can't seem to get them right. Characters with dive kicks tend to be quite powerful. And it's kind of a, a, a gag in the fighting game community that, you know, you're playing a dive kick character, ah, you're a scrub. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, we were just goofing around one night and thought it would be funny if we made a whole game out of that, and we decided to try it. Has it been surprising to you at all, um, the fervor around the game? I mean, people getting, like, really seriously super, super into it, like, eSport level craziness. Or are you like, no, of course, dive kick is the best. We welcome our new eSports overlords. We <laughs> we're ready. We embrace you. Yeah. Bring us the money. Um, I think it was surprising at first when we were first developing the game. We knew it was fun, but we would bring in test groups and, you know, we'd schedule a four-hour session. Hey, guys, come to my place. Let's play for four hours and try to balance it. Fourteen hours later, dudes won't leave my house. They're begging me to buy the game. It's not even done. There's like two and a half characters in it. Uh, and then we kind of knew we were onto something. And we just started developing the game farther, polishing and adding depth and trying to make it as fun and interesting as possible. So I, I always knew there was something there, but to see it explode like this is still pretty surprising and cool. Do you think it's weird that you've made, like, in some ways, the most accessible fighting game ever, but then you've also included a ton of super in-joke, obscure fighting game references? Does that, like, are you, like, luring people in and then freaking them out? I think it's a love letter. You know, I I'm lampooning something I love. Um, and there's a legitimate piece of software underneath the jokes that anyone can appreciate. But I really like in-jokes personally. Uh, because if I run into an in-joke that isn't funny to me, and I don't understand it, it's an opportunity to learn something about somebody else's culture or background or events. So it's always cool to ask, oh hey, what does this mean? Why is this supposed to be funny? Somebody tells me a story and now I know something I didn't. And I've always really liked that. So me packing the game with in-jokes is kind of like my way of trying to get people to look in and ask questions. All right, man, so where can people purchase this game or, or potentially steal it from? <laughs> the internet. Uh, you can buy Dive Kick right now. It's on Steam. Uh, it's it's $9.99. You can also buy it on PlayStation Network. Also $9.99, but it's cross-buy on PlayStation Network, which means you'll get the PlayStation 3 and Vita versions for one price. And where do you go from here, man? Are you working on Dive Kick 2, or are you working on Dive Kick Expansion Pack, new characters? This was kind of a big risk for us. We spent a, a lot of time and money just trying to realize this thing. So we're taking a wait-and-see approach. We have ideas. We want to do more stuff with it, but we got to see if our money comes back to us or not first. And when can we expect the awesome Dive Kick art book from Udon? <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> I don't know, man. That would be awesome, though. <laughs> All right, word. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the interview. Thanks.